Hey everyone, uh, this is my first shot at any kind of video so really kind of got no idea what I'm doing and I do feel like a giant doofus sitting in this place talking to myself. Um, I know that the neighbours can probably hear me because I can hear them when they're on their phone. Anyway, um, I brought a hover cam home from work so it was just going to sit in my classroom for six weeks not doing anything so hey I might as well give it a home. Um, I was hoping to set up a YouTube channel not like there isn't enough of those already but um, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to well everything art mainly uh, and craft and life um, so what I wanted to do was just sort of share my laziness with the general population and hopefully infect everybody else with my lazy it's kind of like cutting corners so I was thinking hey I've been teaching the kids at school how to colour in and cut corners and get really good results, so share it with you guys too. And a few people have been asking, uh, how do you do hair, how do you do skin, those kind of things. So this is my book of choice at the moment, this one and the Halloween. Um, what I thought I'd do to start with this one is just some skin. Um, having to go with a couple of different ways of doing skin. So I thought I'd start with this one. Um, God, I don't know what her name is. Look in there. Can I also just give a disclaimer for mild coarse language, general idiocy. Um, I don't do cute. I don't have fancy nails like all the other people. So, you know, if you're going to watch this, then hey, these are my fingers. They're pretty old and wrinkly and spotty and gross, but they can colour. Uh, anyway, so what I thought I would do is I've got two copies of this one. I have a feeling her name's Polly, but I'm not sure. This one I was just practicing on um, because my copier just is seriously crap and came out all fuzzy like that. On this side, uh, I've used my Prismas for her skin, just three different colours. But on this side, I used this really crappy packet of pencils that I picked up at Officeworks for about $2. Um, I say crappy because, hey, $2.00. But also because this is the colours that I got. There's no orange. And the worst thing is that there's actually no purple. That looks like a purple, but it's a dark blue. So anyway, so two dark greens, two dark blues, and really had to make do with that. But I did um, a picture with this about two weeks ago, and it turned out really good. So what I thought I would do with this video today is put those crappy ones aside, is do really easy skin with three prismas and that's uh, what's left of my light peach and peach and clay rose there's lots of other ways to do this and my way is not the best way my way is a quick way and it's a lazy way and you can do that with three colors in just a couple of minutes so I've done her left arm with those ones the prismas and her right arm there, I've used those crappy $2 pencils. Um, yellow and pink, and then a bit of brown for shading. And it actually looks okay here on the camera, but when I look with my actual own eyes, it's really kind of a little bit grainy. So I have gone over that with the trusty Prisma um, blending pencil. What's left of it, this one's like about an inch long. Um, Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do one of her with Prisma first, one of her with the cheapy crappy ones, but really for cheap crappy pencils, my goodness, they smell good. If you're one of those people who like smelling brand new books, my goodness, you should smell these pencils. They are awesome. All right, so they're going out of the way. Um, now, that is my practice one because the photocopier crapped out on it and here is another one of her I'll put the other one aside so this is going to be tricky let's just see how this goes and i'm hoping that the hover cam doesn't go too blurry all right i'm not playing any music in the background like some of those videos do because nobody's going to like the music i listen to and if you just want to turn off my rambling feel free and then just watch so that's um light peach what's the number 927 um if you want to like fast forward through this part i'm just going to put okay first cheat with these pencils i always have a look 
I mean, sometimes you sharpen them, sometimes you don't. Mostly I'm a tight ass, so I tend not to sharpen them until I really, really have to because I don't want to waste them because I'm stupid and I bought them for $3 per pencil instead of buying a whole pack, but that's a whole other story. Look for that little flat edge. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can see it. That little flat edge there on the pencil gets you a nice smooth kind of... Um, a nice smooth shading to fill in the whole area rather than getting 20 pencil strokes so this is just going to go on all the way over and I'm not going to worry too much about the edges because that's when you go in with the other two colors um, really quickly fill the damn thing in if it gets streaky it's kind of just go back over it in the other direction keep the same pressure all over and work on the flat side of the pencil so again my way is not the be all and end all I don't actually even know what I'm talking about to be honest what I thought I would do is just to share my lazy way of coloring couldn't tell you what to do with a color wheel I mean I could draw one but hey past drawing on god knows what you do with the damn thing um so this is just me putting colors where I like on this one, I'm going to totally go over the tattoos because I am a huge fan of grayscale tattoos. I have five tattoos and only one of them has got any colour in it. So poor old pilot, pirate here, she's going to get the same tattoos as what I've got. A little bit in there. You can fast forward this bit because, God, this must be boring for you. And the boobs and can you guys believe facebook coloring groups they're even facebook's even pulling down colored in versions of the boobs i don't know why they're fun to color in sometimes all right this is where it can all go to hell in a handbasket because it's a bigger area so little i like to just look for little bits little spaces and like I did when I was a kid, I used my finger to stop from going out of the lines. Although, it doesn't really matter so much if you go out of the lines with these pencils. They seem to rub off not too bad. Or you can go over them with everything else. With all the other colours around. Ah, oh, shit, right over her mouth. Okay. The face is a little bit scratchier than I'd like, so I'm just going to get the flat bit of that pencil again but, um, I'm going to have to remember to keep my hands out of the way of this because I'm busy looking at this and not the screen I've got no idea what's going on on the screen man it's weird talking to yourself I hope you guys if you're listening I hope you've got some music on in the background so I'm just going to sit here and talk to myself okay so that's a little bit scratchy and this is just like this is just normal printer paper the stuff that you would get in your office so it's nothing fancy I did have another I did buy another packet of paper to run through the printer but it was it was a little bit too grainy so the pencil sort of skimmed over the top um, I know in, in groups people have been suggesting paper but most of you guys are overseas so I can't really get the same ones as you all right, enough fluffing around. I could do that forever. Okay, so that was um, just a base coat of light peach 927. And these are the colors that I've settled on for skin. I use these most often. Um, sometimes I might swap out the, what's this one? Clay rose. I might swap out the clay rose for that sienna color. Um, what's that one called? Sienna something. Have a look. Sienna brown. Um, but I haven't used that one for ages. That's the one I used when I first started out and didn't have many colors. Anyway, um, oh, first thing that I do before I do anything else is I always have Jasmine's original open on my iPad because, hey, she knows what she's doing. Um, she doesn't go out of the lines. So I just have a look at hers and just sort of double check where the shadows go. I kind of, I've noticed with her older ones, um, she doesn't seem to have as much definition on them. They still look awesome though, don't they? But um, yeah, I've just noticed different coloring there. Anyway, so I've got hers open there on my iPad. And 
just going to do now, say about, oh, I'm going to go in millimetres because I don't know any other measurements. So say about three, maybe four millimetres in from the edge of the line. So much lighter touch than much lighter touch than with the um, base color over the sides and again not too worried about going over the lines or anything and a little bit under there because hey why not it's probably a shadow of some kind under there maybe a little bit behind there and don't forget that little touch of hand down there alrighty um, over this side a little bit on there so the pressure to make sure that you don't get those lines along the edge so you know I'm just going to explain this the same way I explain it to my kids at school you don't want to see the line where the two colors meet you want a nice even blend so just gradually release the pressure as you move the pencil in and kind of get it going in little circles just to soften up the edge. Sometimes when I'm feeling super lazy I go in diagonal so like this one so a little bit diagonal there and then just soft it a smooth it into the base color uh, there we go and probably checking Jasmine's one yeah probably just gonna go down there too and oh hell why not let's just do the whole damn thing okay and then she's got some little fingers sticking out the back there she's got little bits here just put a little bit of stark on them a little bit down the whole side there because psh, why not uh she's also got here there's just this tiny little tiny little bit of her wrist right there so Probably going to put just a little bit of random stuff there, just really lightly with, try and find the flat tip of your pencil again. Just a little bit on there. How's that? Oh man, stuff looks so much better on the screen than it does with my eyeballs. Um, okay, so then also just here, I just put like a little random dark bit there too because she's going to have knuckles. And I'm giving her chubby hands, so she's got knuckle dimples going on there. Okay. Alrighty, so done that arm, we've done that arm. And let's go with a little bit of shadow here because that's going to be... Well, it's overlapping the skin, isn't it? So I tend to just say, hey, overlapping, whack a shadow in there. Maybe just a little bit over the shoulder too, but not a lot. So the middle of that kind of stays a bit white. All right, it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit liney. It's a bit too um, defined. Just soften up the edge a bit. All righty. Um, this one, a little bit there where the straps on the arm. Man, that must be an uncomfortable outfit. Okay. Oh shit, look at that, all out the lines. Alright, uh, let's see where else. So I'm gonna, she's got this hair coming here over her shoulder, so it's gonna be a little bit darker skin underneath that. Not a lot though. And again, maybe just a touch, just a touch there. Alright. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Alright, uh, she's got a bit of collarbone going on there, so. I'm sure I've got one of those too. Haven't seen it for years though. Okay, color that little bubby in, and we might just go just a little bit on the other side of that strap too, because I don't know. To me, it looks like that strap's kind of cutting into her shoulder a little bit. So I mean, she's she's fairly well endowed in the chesticle region. So there might be some hefty straps there on her top. Okay, another bit there too, because why not? All right, I'm gonna turn this around because 
raisins and a little bit under the chin always go for a little bit under the chin the good thing with binging on uh on jasmine's colorings and god if you've been watching my post you know that i've been binging a fair bit lately um is that you kind of just get to know exactly where she puts all the shade and where all the colors go so faces and things you know at first i used to sit there and think oh god where do you put the things how do you make that line you know that line that she's got there but then it's kind of turns into like a formula sort of like a cheat and then the skin just goes on nice and easy. I don't know why I just did that on her hand then. I think I shouldn't have. But anyway, let's just leave it for now. It makes her hand look fat, but oh well. All right. Next bit, fun bit, we get to colour the boobs. So in there in the cleavage, the darker it is, the deeper it's going to be. So just bring that out a little bit. And you want to just kind of round that up. So if you look at this as being a sort of a circle there, you can just bring that shadow up a little. There we go. And, and I'll turn this back around the other way again in a minute so you can see it, but I could probably flip that button on the screen, couldn't I? Let me try that. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna learn how to use this thing properly. Great for reading stories to the kids at school so that they can all see the books. Oh, look at that. She's got oh, a square boob. I've given her a square boob. Okay, we can fix that. Yeah, it's funny when you're, when you're teaching 10-year-olds, 9-year-olds, 8-year-olds to do different things. Um, especially when you're drawing or colouring or doing any kind of art and you try and explain to them, you don't worry about your mistakes. You can always fix them. There's never anything wrong. And then I sit here and then go, ah, oh, shit, she's got a square boob. And anyway, I'm a bit of a hypocrite like that. Okay, so gonna put just a little bit, a little bit more of that light peach just across the, just there, just because her head is probably going to be casting a bit of a shadow over that area. That square boob is really pissing me off. Okay, so here's my favourite rubber. I got this from, oh, you guys probably call it an eraser. It's a rubber. Um, picked it up at Daiso, which is a Japanese junk shop. Um, everything's $2.80. This is one of those ones. It's just like a mechanical pencil, but it's a mechanical. And it's a little bit awesome. It's pretty filthy because I used it this morning when I was surprisingly colouring in more pirate boobs. But anyway, this is um, is really good for the, uh, the prismas. It seems to get it off really well. So I'm just going to... Recircle her boob because seriously, nobody has square ones, do they? Alright, if they do, they should get a refund. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? Alright, okay, so on to her face. I'm gonna leave this, oh, it's sideways for me, it's right way up for you. Alright, so here. The bit that I loved about uh, Jasmine's pictures when I first saw them was this awesome shadow here between the eyes. And I kind of do it slightly different on everyone, but basically it's a line that goes from corner to corner and it's curved there to give you that nice little dip in her face. And I kind of do this in an hourglass. So I go from corner to corner, but then I go from, um, what do you call those things, eyebrows eyebrow to eyebrow as well in a curved line so it's like smiley face sad face and just shade in between there not too f dark because again clay rose is going to come in in a minute and darken everything up so just back and forth really softly on the flat side of the brush a uh, brush bloody hell pencil the flat side of the pencil i've just spent the last 10 weeks teaching my kids how to paint and how to hold a damn paintbrush the paint brushes on the mind. All right. So there's that little shadow just between her eyes, which I really, really, really like. Um, nose. So if you sort of, if you look at these side bits here on her nostrils, and you just follow those around a little bit, and again with the flat side of the pencil. Totally nearly said brush again. The flat side of the pencil just. Little, little little shadow there just to sort of define the tip of her nose I've noticed that some people like to put 
nose columns in too and I did try that once but <laughs> let's not talk about that so I'll leave that up to the people who are really good um, with the face parts but I'm all about the cheats and the shortcuts okay so she's got a little oh look it's gone all fuzzy again oh yeah silly thing okay so she's got a little bit of a nose in there next thing is get the pointy end of that pencil right up her nose into those nostrils and just use the sharp edge of it just to make that quite dark in there but then flip around to the flat edge again and just drag it down a little bit underneath her nose you can go just a tad around the outside of her nostrils and smooth that off just with a really light touch these prismas like seriously they you just have to tickle the paper it's a little bit sexy isn't it uh, there we go so you can just just really you're just tickling you're just dragging the pencil over it really really lightly I've just added those two little lines in there I don't know if you can see them probably a little bit so there's two little lines there on her nose as well just to um, I don't know give her nostrils I guess now there's also that little dippy bit between your lips and your nose so just leave say leave about say a millimeter just above this part I know it's got a technical name but can we be bothered looking that up no so that little dippy bit there just with the pointy edge again it's like a little 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 smiley face in there and that will just oh yeah it's either going to come out like a skin colored moustache or a shaving cut or something like that all right so yeah I'm not touching that bit anymore okay the other part that I like to put a bit of shadow in is just under the bottom lip and again I'm using the sharper side of the pencil rather than that nice flat side just to get in under the edge and then I'll flip over to the flat side just to smooth it off a bit now looking at the original one as a reference point she's kind of got they're different on all of them sometimes they have like a, a circular light patch on the cheeks where the highlight is this one has kind of got like a geez it's almost like a heart shape or something going on in the middle it's sort of coming from say you know that shiny bit in the in the eyes it's sort of coming like diagonally down from there on both sides and that's where her shadow is so it's leaving like a you know it's almost like a crescent shape on her cheeks so rather than actually color that I'm just going to go and make sure that everywhere I put the peach is not there kind of reminds me of that stupid old joke um, my art teacher told us in high school was something like how do you <laughs> how do you create a sculpture of an elephant you start with a block of marble and you chip away all the parts that don't look like an elephant yeah it's kind of like a dad joke so same sort of thing here though color in all the parts that are not the highlight on her cheek well, the elephant didn't have anything to do with that but anyway this might be the part where you want to turn the volume off and think geez shut up and color in all right the other thing that she sometimes has on these two is like a little bit of shadow from the corner of the lips there so it sort of makes her a little bit extra pouty and it does sort of define her cheeks a little bit because those cheeks like if she was a baby you'd want to squish them okay but she's not a baby okay all right that's gone all fuzzy again but hey that looks all right I love how they come up better on the screen right especially when you photograph them with your iPad and then post them nobody can see all the little bits that you cranky about okay standard shade up around the hairline again about let's say two or three mil and right up against the line there using um, a flat edge of the god I keep going to say brush flat edge of the pencil again just to go all the way around and I'm also just going to go bam the hairline 
as well. She really needs some sunscreen, won't she? All right. A little bit looking at the camera. That little bit there needs to just be softened off a little bit. So at this point again, it's like, you know, you get a better pressure and more pressure and more control if you hold the pencil down the end. If you hold it up the end here and just sort of flip it across, you get a much softer, it's like a tickle. Okay. Alrighty, so she's done with, oh, I wish it would stop doing that. Okay, she's done with the light peach. So now, um, light peach, I don't know if I said the number, I don't even know what these numbers are. What's that, 939. And what have we got here, clay rose. Uh, oh, got my glasses and still can't see it. 1017, there we go. All right, this is my new favorite for skin, seriously, this is, lovely pencil i'm just gonna just notice i missed this just gonna put in there we go a little bit of shadow there all right done okay so now this one with the, oh gosh look how i sharpened that nice job all right clay rose goes everywhere that you just put uh that light peach and you apply it exactly the same way but just not as wide so I did read somewhere about, oh gosh, I don't know, because I don't follow the rules for anything. Um, I did read somewhere about like something to do with rules of three, or I could totally be mixing that up with old episodes of Charmed. Hmm. Anyway, something about three. So I tend to go with just pick three colors, just color and then sort of work up from there. Oh, totally tried coloring with eyeshadow the other day. Man, that was a mistake and a half. Started out really good, but poor. Oh, trying to get it to stick. There's those little dimples because I'm giving her little fat hands. Okay, so you can kind of see the difference now between those two arms, that one and that one. Um, she probably needs a little bit of definition in that elbow as well because, hey, let's get a funny bone going on in there. Just really soft again. Don't be scared to do stuff because you can totally rub it out. Oh yeah, now it looks like she's got a tumour or something. Meh, let's just leave that for now. No, let's not. Let's rub it out. Yeah. If I knew how to edit videos, I'd totally edit that out and pretend I didn't do it. All right. A little bit of shadow there and on the underside of her hand. All right. Okay, I'm going to turn this around again. And I have to remember what button to press. It looks like that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sure that any number of the kids in my classroom could have told me how to do that. All right. Over the anchor. I'll worry about that later. Down the other side. So it's only, say, about two mil of color coming in off the edge. Uh, and it's really, really soft. There's hardly any pressure on there at all. And I am actually using the pointy part of the pencil. All right, arms. Now there is, I don't know about you, but I've got a little bit in my arm there that we can define as well, just to make it look a little bit more like an arm. All right, up here again, around the strap, around the little puffy bit. And just a touch on the shoulder, not too much, because it's sort of a, yeah, if I, if I knew the proper terminology, I could explain it, but it's a sticky outy part where the light's going to hit it a bit more. So to make it look like a sticky outy part, it leaves the middle bit pale. Okay, strap's done. Other strap's done over there, just a little bit, because otherwise it's going to look like a really uncomfortable outfit. Okay, a little bit on the shoulder and a little bit around this side. I still feel like a complete idiot talking to myself, but no one else is here, so it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna put that little bit there, but I don't think I wanna do anything more on her collarbone, because I think that's deep enough. We don't want it to look skeletal. Okay, boobies, get in the cleavage there, and try not to make the square boobs. Oh yeah, that's all right. 
Okay, I'm also going to, am I? No, I'm not. Oh gosh, what have I done? Do you know what? I'm going to take this part out because it makes her boob look too flat. And probably just going to ease that bit back a bit too. Yeah, that works. All right. Where did my pencil go? There it is. Okay. Um, got all of that. All right. Can we see any more? Oh, I totally forgot her stomach. Well, that was smart, wasn't it? Okay. Let's get that belly in. Oh, she's not had any kids, has she? Look at that belly. And there, and oh, beloved octopus. Do love me an octopus. My son has an octopus tattoo that goes from his ankle to his hip. But it's not exactly an octopus and I really probably shouldn't be telling you what's on the end of the tentacles. Use your imagination. Okay. Around the hips and up the waist and uh, along the edges because I do love a bit of shadow along the edges. Technically probably shouldn't be there but hey, let's whack it in anyway. Under the shirt and around the edge of that. Around the edge of that. All right. Down the octopus. Let's say it's Cthulhu. All right. And belly button. We gotta get her belly button in there. All right. So I'm turn that around again. Oh, sh well, that's not the right way. There we go. <coughs> belly button. She's got an innie. A little bit of shade there. Okay. Um, could probably probably do a little, little bit more there, but you don't want to. Oh, hey, the neighbor's kids are out. Fabulous. So quiet, you'd never even know they're there. We could totally give her like some abs if we just go right down the center a little, little, little. Pirate girl I just did this morning from another book. I think she had a little ab thing going on. Yeah, let me just leave that before we stuff it up. All right, belly sun and Okay, gosh, I really should have kept a note of where I'm up to. All right, a little bit of clay rose, not too much there. A little bit down the side. Uh, high density housing. Love it. Can you smell the sarcasm? All right. And there. Oh, shit. Okay, so a little bit under there. And a little bit around the edge and just really soft again, just really just running the pencil over it, sort of feathery. I'm just going to, oh wait, a little bit in the belly button. Just going to rub that back a bit. Okay. It's probably a little bit thicker there, but then it should be. And it's starting to ball up a little bit because it's all waxy. All right. Leave that. Pretty sure I've done that side on the shoulders remember doing the boobs and now face I'm just going to do exactly the same thing as before but really light so it's just to deepen that shadow and strengthen it up a little bit but I don't want to go all the way up to the edges because I just want to keep it nice and soft Eesh. okay Maybe I do want to go to the edges and just soften that up a little bit more because it's a bit stripier than I'd like. Yeah, okay, she's been out in the sun anyway. All right, back under the nose, point a bit up into the nostrils, just darken that shadow there and really gently going across the nose. Okay. 
and just those little bits. This is this is probably a, a good if you're going to go with a sharp pencil. I reckon this would probably be the one to do. Oh yeah, that looks better. And just that little dippy thing. It's a technical word is the dippy thing. All right, and then oh, darken under the lips because she's got great big pouty lips. She should appreciate those while she's young. All right. A little bit down here too and around the hairline and other side and I'm just sort of going out I'm not going parallel with the line there I'm sort of going perpendicular-esque or ish and those little little bits there all right back up here into the hairline and just make sure that you still got it, you know, you can still see those three colours sticking out. Okay. Where else do we want some? Oh, that silly fuzzy focus thing. Um, I reckon maybe just under here. I'm probably, if I was doing this whole picture, I would probably be going back and putting, what I do is usually pick up um, a colour from her hair or her eyes or something from her clothes and I do a bit here under the brows down the side and just under there a bit sometimes I forget but hey looks right when we do do it okay so I reckon that's her skin just about done so last thing I would be doing and I'm probably not going to do that now because it's pretty boring but blending pencil um, back in the day when I first started I actually used um, the color or I used white but um, I don't know why I don't do that anymore probably because I've got lots and lots of blending pencils now um, I'm just going to go back over the entire thing just like I was putting a base coat but I actually use a whole lot more pressure just to blend those colours in and also because I'm pretty damn heavy handed at the best of times I really like to grind those colours into the page makes them nice and smooth then you get all those little crumbs, but hey, all good. If you guys haven't got one of those Mars razor pencil rubber things, eraser, sorry. It's like, it looks like a pencil, but it's an eraser. And it has a little brush on the end. It's a really good solid one, but I find that if you're not careful with the pressure, it does tend to um, tear up the page a little. Okay, so all over blending, I'm just... You can't see it on the camera, but it's a bit scratchy. So if I was to finish all of that, then i do the whole picture. And I'm just going to do that just to see if I can. Okay. All right. So here's a, here's a cheat thing. Doing this bit here between her eyes, I tend to just color in, in like arcs, I guess. So like I said before, smiley face from the eyebrows, sad face from the eyes. And you get that hourglass shape going on here, going sideways. But when I, um, so I colour that going sideways, but oh, when I do the, um, the blending, I tend to actually do that diagonally because it softens it off on the edges a little bit. So you don't end up with that line like I had before that I wasn't really happy with. Oh yeah, that totally works better. Also these bits here, they look a little bit stripy for me. So just mash the crap out of those, push this stuff right into the paper. It also smooths it out and blends it in. And here's me saying I wasn't going to do the boring blending part, but hey, let's do the boring blending part too. And around the nostrils and circle around the nose. If you use like a whole bunch of pressure with this thing, it does tend up, it does tend to get really streaky on your work. So um, make sure, or actually even if you don't use a lot of pressure, it does sometimes leave streaks and like a grain in your work so make sure that you either go in circles or go back in different directions or that the streaks that it's leaving actually match the background so like if you're doing wood perfect if you're doing hair kind of works too but we don't want to stripe your face having said that i can totally see stripes from the base coat there i'm just going to try and lighten that clavicle and around there 
and in between the chesticles. And that bit there. All right, I'm just going to do it all. So I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing it too. Can you hear the neighbours? Six weeks of that crap. Oh shit, look at that. I don't know where that came from. That's just a little burst of colour came out of... Who knows? It might have been... Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a little bit on the end of the pencil. That's from this morning when I was colouring in a green pirate. Okay. Uh, it's going to go underneath the octopus anyway, so let's not worry. I don't even know if you can see that because the whole thing just totally moved. Right, so yeah, it was like this little green. Uh, look, you probably can't even see it. This is bright green from the, um, oh, I think it was peacock green. Stuck to the uh, blending pencil and it's just come out all over the octopus, but that's okay. Rub it off with the blender and rub it off with an eraser and it's all good all right um down there really quickly and all right so i'm just going to turn this back around again so that i can see it yeah. oh man i'm spatially challenged right okay let's have a look Oh yeah, that's not bad. Um, I always find it's easier to see how, you know, like you've been looking at your work for ages. So it's the same as when you're doing any kind of art or craft. You've got to walk away for a while and leave it. But I find that I get a better idea of what it's going to look like if I look at the screen. So at the moment, I'm just sort of looking at that on my laptop, which is to the left of the picture. And um, you kind of see that little green bit there that just burst out of my... Um, blending pencil but I reckon we've pretty much got everything now okay oh the nose looks a bit wonky what's going on with the nose okay something funky happening with the nose so I'm just going to get the peach I don't know it doesn't look like it on the paper but on the screen it looks like her she looks like she's got like a boxer's nose it's kind of all happening on the right and not on the left I don't know why that is let's zoom in and see what we can see Oh shit, well, I totally just screwed that up, didn't I? Alright, let's get that peach off there. Let's have a look. There is something funky going on with her nose. And I can't see it on the paper, but I can see it on the screen. So, I'm just going to get the rubber. And just go around there and lighten that up. Take a bit of... Yeah, there's something going on here too. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but on the on the screen, it looks to me like there's too much colour on one side of her nose, so it looks like her face has all sort of been mushed. Yeah, go fuzzy, you silly thing. Um, yeah, I might just... That peach was a bit too bright, so I might just get a bit of that clay rose just to clean up where I rubbed it off. Try and get it exactly on both sides. Oh, maybe that was why, because that... Eh, that'll do. Lazy, right? That's what I said before. Okay. All right, so she's done. And that was with the Prisma... <clears throat> what do you call that one? Light Peach, Peach. And that one's Clay Rose. And guest starring my favourite cheap-ass rubber. And my $2 pencil sharpener which is really seriously good as long as you remember to empty the barrel at the bottom otherwise it clogs up and eats the crap out of the wood on your pencils all right uh, okay so she's done now not everybody has the prisma pencils or um not everybody has access to the skin tones um so the other day uh i sort of challenged myself and said hey i was out shopping at one of those uh, office works you know it's like one of those great barns full of 
what do you call it, stationery and stuff. And, uh, uh, no, it's not in this book, it's in the other one. Um, yeah, so I found these pencils and they smelled really good and I thought, yeah, why not? Saturday, got nothing to do. Let's go home and see what we can do with a packet of cheap, crappy-ass pencils. Yeah, look at that. It's not even a white and heathens. There's not even a purple in there. But the skin colour that I managed to do turned out really, really cool. So this one underneath here, that's the one that I did... Um, the one that I did just before I turned this camera on just to make sure that the paper was going to be okay and the pencils were going to be okay. So here is another way. All right, so this side, Prisma, this side, Chibas pencils. Now to do that one, I'm going to do this, but I've, mm, I might just do her face because the rest of her is pretty straightforward. Um, so, and you're probably sick to death of listening and if not, man, 50 cool points to you. Okay, now I'm going to turn this around again. So give me no. Now that's going to be upside down. And there we go. All right, be gentle with me. It's my first time using this thing for anything other than reading to kids and uh, normal classroom work. Okay, all right. So three colors I'm going to use from the cheap ass but amazing smelling pencils. Um, a yellow, pink, and a brown. Now, these are going to go streaky as, um, get lots of lines in them, so you've got to be really, really gentle with them. Uh, I did actually go over this this one here. I did actually go over that with the Prisma Blender, and on the screen there, you can't really tell. Up close, though, let me see if I can zoom into that little bugger for you. you maybe not going to show up real good. If you look at the streaks of pink and yellow, and I know that's because... When I did it, um, I actually did it in a bit of a rush and I pressed too hard because I'm heavy handed and I'm lazy and ugh, if things are going to take too long, then just forget it. All right. So what I'm going to do is her face and try and show you how to get a fairly decent skin tone with cheap crappy pencils if that's all you have access to or if you don't happen to have a good combination of... Uh, those prismas and I know not everybody's lucky enough to be able to um, to get themselves those so I'm just going to pencil on a side I love to use the pencils laying down flat because you get a lot more surface area of the lead there and less chance to get lots of streaks and stuff so ah, it's already coming out too dark all right back off with the pressure don't worry too much about going to the hairline I'm going over the eyebrows on this one because these pencils um, are okay for going over the top. Well, I find the prism ones, you know, because I'm pretty heavy-handed, it does make it a little bit hard to go over the top of um, too many layers of pencil when I've pressed way too hard. All right. Yeah, she looks a little bit jaundiced, but bear with me. All right. God, it's getting yellower and yellower because I'm pressing too hard. I was just trying to even that out. All right. You watch this all go to hell. Seriously. If it does, I may even just delete this part and pretend it never happened. Okay. Yellow's down. Mm. If I had been smart and brought my mushy rubber, I don't know what they're called, but it looks like a big blob of blue tack. Um, I probably should have brought that up, then I could have softened it. All right, let's see how this goes now. Uh, pink, straight over the yellow, and I'm going everywhere because pink and yellow. Oh, come on now. Pink and yellow makes a decent skin from a distance and also on the camera. Up close, it looks like pink and yellow skin. Kind of. All right. Okay, there used to be a TV show years ago called, um, oh gosh, Go Brain. Um, it was an English one for kids, Art Attack. Art Attack, it was out around the time my kids were little and my kids are late 20s now, so yeah, that long ago. It's with a bloke called Neil. 
and uh, oh shit will you look at that all right rub that off in a sec anyway i remember him doing um a tutorial for kids one day on how to how to use paint and how to mix up a skin color and he went with all the you know standard options of what people would think you know pink and white oh, sorry red and white to make a pink um brown and white and he ended up using um yellow and pink and made this really awesome skin tone i'm just going to fix this crap that i did across the face there poor thing look at that looks like she was putting a lipstick on in the car and went over a speed bump okay all right now look that's not perfect but if you don't have a skin color yeah it's not bad brilliant but not bad all right um I'm going to just now do the I don't even know what it's called but I'm doing the happy face sad face thing which is what I call it in my head when I'm doing it so sad face from the eyes happy face from the eyebrows and just a really gentle shade in between just sort of taper it off into her eyelids if you're do, if you're not going to give her any eyeshadow or anything you could totally just go above that eyelid there and just give that a little bit of definition and depth but you have to be careful you don't want to look like her eyes are sunken okay I'm just going to extend that under her eyes a little bit this time because sometimes I do that soften that line off there and let's check the camera holy shit look at that it's so much brighter on the screen than it actually is right in front of me but the hover cam's got this honking big light shining down like this LED lights coming out the bottom of it. So, yeah, and stupid me just looked at it and now I can't see a damn thing. Let's just soften that off a bit. Okay, you're probably looking at this and thinking, why the hell would I want to do that? Fair point. Because on that camera, it totally looks crappy. Bear with me. So, I'm just going to... It's a little bit not symmetrical, and I know there's a better word than not symmetrical. Just gonna even that up just a tad and go over her eyebrow just so that blends in a bit better because we all know that we're gonna go over her eyebrows later. And I think that needs to come down a bit there too. Okay, and probably just, now I am gonna go back over this with the blending pencil afterwards, so it will, not look like this when it's finished same thing again around the hairline a little bit of brown probably about two three mils again and really light pressure just to finish it off and if i had a brain i'd be actually watching the computer screen to see how this works rather than waiting till i'm finished yeah that's all right and up the hairline down the hairline these girls have an awesome hairline, don't they? I miss having hair like that. It's been a while. Okay. Down that, oh look, out of the lines. Good job. All right, around the side of her face. Now this brown is much darker than the, if you have a look, completely different color to the clay rose. Oh, you can't even really see because that stupid LED light, but can you see that yeah look you can you can see that's a little bit darker so you just gotta whatever brown you're using just use a much lighter touch than you would if you're using the normal skin tones okay it <laughs> this one's tricky because the camera is making it look really dark and i am wearing my glasses so it I know it's not really really that dark all right under the lip and just not using the point I'm using mm, I don't know if you can see the tip of this pencil oh yeah um yeah you can see the flat edge on the tip there so I'm just making sure I use that because it's going to help soften the line because we don't want to we don't want to underline her mouth but yeah and that little doodad and then the sharp bit up her nostrils and this time I'm going to pay attention and make sure that it's the same amount of color on both sides so she doesn't look like her face is sliding off all right follow that arch around again because 
if you if you imagine what like if you're going to do that thing like you do with kids like yeah hey, got your nose imagine where you were going to grab her nose and it would probably be like something like that you make it whatever shape you like but hey there that works doesn't it and just those little indentations there she's a pirate I imagine she flares her nostrils a lot when she's out pillaging and doing her lady pirate business okay oh man her lips look funny I don't think that's me this time all right up the other side of the face and again using the flat part of the pencil not the pointy scratchy part the nice flat part because that gives you a really soft um, gives you a really soft line where you end off all right and again on her face it looks like she's got a three-day growth but she doesn't and also blend a pencil a little race in and save the day okay and a bit more down there around the eyes okay the picture's not actually symmetrical either you can see there's a lot more space on this side than there is on this side all right let me check on the screen yeah i might just that there that that dippy bit is a little bit darker than i'd like so i might go over that with the with the rubber later and i'm also just gonna darken those bits there just a little because these girls do have very pouty little faces yeah go camera okay yeah that that'll do i don't want to mess with it too much because these pencils are not the greatest all right so now blender and clean off the color from this morning first man she looks weird just ahead doesn't she all right blender's clean okay so these parts here that are looking really dark let's just get into those first and I'm going in a circular oh look at the yellow come out um, I'm going circular and moving out from the line and inwards as far as skin colors go for awesome smelling but cheap ass pencils these aren't too bad really like on the screen there that's pretty passable here you'd probably be wondering mm, really a bit jaundiced might need a kidneys looked at okay now i'm totally not going in circles now because yeah it's too hard on a side of paper i can be bothered turning it around again because lazy okay around there around the nose and just going to keep that motion up the bridge all right a little bit on the nostrils okay how's that oh she's starting to look a bit yellow isn't she but this is like emergency skin color you know those days when you're just like holy crap i haven't got a skin color what am i going to do no i just want to make them look like one of those blue things from that god awful movie what was that movie Oh, Avatar. I'm gonna make them look like something from Avatar. Apologies to anyone who actually liked that movie. I'm not into fantasy stuff. <laughs> no, I just colour it and I watch it or read it. Okay. Around the eyes, hair, and find the patchy bits that I've missed and oh she's a bit yellow okay she's a little bit yellower than I would like what can we do what about let's try something sneaky and I pull my sharpener apart so look see yeah if you don't empty it it all jams in there blocks up the blades and then when you try to sharpen your pencil it eats the crap out of the wood and cracks it all so don't be like me empty your sharpener okay so i'm just going to go back to back to school days practice and i'm just going to sharpen the tip of the brown a little bit 
and okay so like I'm totally winging it here I haven't done this before so this could just like completely go to shit okay yeah it's not gonna work because I buffed it with the blender what I was trying to do is just add a little bit of a little bit of brown on there with the pencil shavings to tone down the yellow I think this is where somebody who had a clue about the color wheel would come in and say oh you have to go and find whatever the I don't know, the freaking opposite of yellow is um, and the opposite of yellow is purple but I'm not going over her face with purple what about if we get some Hmm. You know what? No, I'll leave it. I'm going to have a look at that compared to the one I did earlier. I think I was just a bit heavy handed with the yellow. So what I might do, oh yeah, look at that. You can see the difference there. There's a lot of yellow in her forehead. But you know, look for an emergency skin color. Hey, totally passable, especially if you go with dark hair. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm just going to do which arm? Pick an arm, any arm. Probably that one because it's straight. So I'm going to just turn that a bit and I'm going to have another go with those colours. Um, we will restart your device outside of select this message to change active hours or restart. Ah, bugger off. I don't know when computers started thinking for themselves, but this stupid thing, seriously. Okay, so I'm going on much lighter, this coat of yellow. Can you see that? Yeah, you can't see that. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay, and stop, and I don't care because it's patchy. All right, and again, with God, these pencils smell good. Mm. It's like when you stick your nose in a brand new book, you know, right in the spine. Or when you walk past a university library. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay. It's going to come out all streaky now. Okay. Really light with the pink. So I guess the moral of the story for this is try it on a scrap first. This is actually... Oh, look. We're making history. This is... The first time I have ever coloured a jasmine picture and not straight in the book. It's the first time I've ever done one that's not in the book. How about that? Exciting, right? That's my life. Okay, and back with the shading colour. That brown again. And I'm just... Okay, so in, in adding this shade... Oh, look at that. You can see her face is all yellow. Look at that. Poor little thing reminds me of when my babies were jaundiced and you press their little noses and it would go yellow. Down the side here, on this arm, you just want to run two, three millimeters parallel to the arm, but I'm just sort of going diagonal to drag it out a little bit and just to soften the edge off as well. So I'm not going parallel with the line, I'm actually going diagonal like that ish. And then I'm telling a line going back along parallel. Alright. That looks better. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna hmm. Okay, so I've got my cleaning my blending pencil on my pants. Alright. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna yeah, see look that brings out the yellow. Do half of her arm. Hmm. Actually, that's not bad. I don't know what happened with her face there. Let's just pretend I didn't do that, okay? I'm gonna, f I'm gonna fold that up. Yeah, look. Can you see the difference? Look at that. I was, you know what, because I did on her face, I did actually do two coats, didn't I? I think I went like in one direction and then I went in the other to, to even it out. There we go. Lesson learned. Um, I'm going to blend the rest of this arm because I'm actually quite happy with that. Again, as an emergency skin colour. Blending, blending, blending. Yay. Got to go easy on the yellow. Look at that. 
I'm pretty stoked with that one. So let me just turn this thing around again. I'm going to go that way. And then I'm going to go that way. So that's um, that's the cheap, crappy, but beautiful smelling pencils. And that's the Prismas. And obviously, like, you're totally going to get a way better skin tone with the Prismas. But I'm actually pretty happy with that arm. Hey, what happened there? There. I'm actually really happy with that arm. Totally not happy with the face, except... Um, yep, no, there's no buts about that. Not happy with that face. Poor little thing, she's all yellow. All right, so what I'm going to do is work out how to fix that face. I wonder if you can rub it out. Probably not because I've buffed the living crap out of it with that. Oh, no, look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's lifted some of the yellow off. Oh, thank goodness for rubbers. Where would we be without these little... Yeah, look at you. These little things. All right, I'm totally going to rub that back. Remember I said at the beginning that the highlight on this one is kind of in a crescent shape and it kind of goes here from that light in her eye. So I'm just going to... Obviously, I haven't got the light in her eyes yet, but I'm looking at Jasmine's original one. Ah, oh, okay. Let's just take that off there too. These rubbers, seriously, you've got to get yourself one. They're friggin' awesome. Okay, that's better. Look at that. Okay, so like, I can totally still see the yellow. I'm just going to really lightly rub that over and take off a little, little, little bit of yellow. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, you can still see the difference compared with the Prisma, right? But in a pinch, if you don't have access to these awesome Prismas, there you go. Look at that. Three really crappy pencils from Officeworks. Um, they sharpen really well and the colours are actually really strong. I know that you can get some... I know you can get some $1 or some $2 pencils and there's, the pigments just aren't really strong. I think I was just lucky with these ones, even though, who's who made these? I don't know. Study mate. There you go. I can say, made in China. Whoever made these, really, I don't know what they were thinking, because that's like, okay, there's the colours. Two yellows, that's not an orange, that's a yellow. Go away, Christmas yellows standard red standard pink standard light blue standard other blue black two browns two greens and another dark blue like seriously if I was on a budget and buying if I was on a really tight budget and I bought these for my kids to go back to school I'd be pretty pissed because you know look at that Kid can't use that. They can't colour in oranges. They can't colour in purple grapes. Can't colour in purple anything. Well, okay, technically you can because these colours mixed up really well. But my experience in the classroom, they don't mix their colours. It's, <laughs> it's the funniest day when you tell them that green and yellow, green and blue, sorry, makes some. Um, oh my god. Uh, when you tell them, blue and yellow makes green. Yeah. My, my my school is um, not your average school. Yeah, the kids don't actually get a lot of this sort of stuff at home and certainly they don't get coloured pencils and things until they go to school. So you want to challenge yourself, have a go with these crappy-ass pencils. If your picture fails, at least they smelled good while you did it. Otherwise, there's your three Prismas. Base coat with the light on couple of millimetres around the edge with the peach, a little bit less with the clay rose, or the other one, which is right here, is this one. I don't know if you can see that. Sienna Brown. Uh, what number is that? 945. That also makes it, it's obviously a little bit darker. Um, 
Yeah, so there's all sorts of combinations of skin you can try. If you go on the Googles uh, and you type in Prismascolor Color Skin Tones um, and then go to Images, you'll find uh, a little chart. Let me see if I can get it on my iPad and show it to you. You'll find a little chart that's actually quite handy and it's from someone on DeviantArt. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let me find it for you right here. Okay, so there's this one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, I posted that on 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 the Jasmine uh, colouring group at some stage. Um, but if you Google and find that, she's got instructions there for all three different colours. And again, it's the three thing. So it must be like an art thing that I don't know about. But anyway... Uh, she's got all these different skin tones. Um, I haven't had as much success as she has with some of those, but I tell you what, this hair colour, man, that came out good. That one came out really good. That pumpkin orange, geez, that makes a nice hair colour. Um, the rest of those, though, are pretty good. There's also, uh, yep, this, I found this one on DeviantArt as well. And look, I'm not going to, I can't read the name because it's really tiny. Um, but, oh look there, you might be able to see, that. hang on, let me go there, oh sh shivers, there you go, you might be able to see there's a name up the top there, yeah, check that out, anyway, hair colour and skin colour palette, now it doesn't actually have pencil names on it because I think this is for digital colouring, um, but you can totally match your pencil leads up to this one and, you know, just do a little bit of a scribble on a bit of paper and then match it up here, um there's also another one that shows you skin tones in crazy colors too so if you wanted to um get in there and give your little girls purple or pink or blue skin anyway where would we be without google huh i don't know how we got by without that all right so basically there you go there's some skin in um prismas <laughs> there's some <laughs> There's some skin in the cheap pencils and my goodness from here she looks like a pumpkin but anyway emergency colors only so um there you go i might have a go at doing the rest of her another day um if you've got any questions knock yourself out just um uh, pop something in the comments on the um, jasmine page or on the youtube page and um yeah happy to help with anything um if you made it through that video listening to me ramble for the whole thing man good on you you're stronger than me i would have shut me off ages ago okay happy coloring guys um let me know if you want to do the rest of this together because i'm on six weeks holiday happy to sit here on my butt and color in with you guys and ramble on about how to do it really cheap and easy okay um thanks for joining in see you next time